So welcome back to the second session of the PC, actually, the procurement contracts. So let me go on and share my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Alonso Education, SCM Basics, Classroom Records. Okay. Go down. So there is a 30 second point rename. It is a 30 second. Contracts one. So procurement contracts, one of the one, fine, good. Now, now go there and then have a look at it. No, both are ready and running. If you come refresh, it will say it's all completed actually. So uh, so many other things are running. I will not query on mine now. And I am not working on PRC 10 actually. If you make a search on PRC 10, so my jobs, ESS jobs will be shown. Oh, you know, can click on it. You can now see both of them are succeeded. Now, let us know, log in with that. PC admin and then the PC creator actually. So click on it. Let us know login as a PC admin and then the PC creator. I click on sign in. I know. PC admin and then the PC creator. I'm going to log in. I click on confirm. <clears throat> so go there. It's what's called T01 underscore EMP1. So go there. Click on sign in. We are now signing as a PC admin and a PC creator actually. So once when you log in with a PC admin or a PC creator, you won't find any icon under the procurement. Fine. My receipts for SSP now. Fine. And if you add what happens, this one now. If you add this role over there. If you add what? Your sourcing project collaborator or procurement contract administrator and the category manager, you will now find the negotiation coming up. Similarly, for supplier qualification, also you'll be having some roles. But when you add a PC, the PC doesn't come under procurement. It is not part of procurement because it is not an execution system, actually. It is a law enforcing system, and so it doesn't come under procurement. In fact, it will be coming under contracts. Fine. It will come under contract management. It will not go to the contract management. It has got three types of contracts. One is the sale contract, there is a buy contract, and then here, PC, the PC is a buy contract. The sale is a sell contract, and then a service contract. So the buy, sell, and service contracts will be coming below this. Since I have given only one role now, fine. We have given only one role. What is the role I have given? I have given only what? Supplier contract administrator. Had I given customer contract administrator, the cell also will come over here. And similarly for service, I don't know what exactly it is. Fine, service, I don't know. So those things will be coming. <clears throat> and then if you go there, log out, no, fine. on the contract management, you have all this. No, fine. So if I log in as EMP2, you will now find only the terms library will be coming. No, fine. Click on sign out. And then you will know how the EMP2 will be having only terms library. EMP2, if you go there and then log in now, he will be having only terms library under contract management because he has been given only what? Business practice director. Actually. Is it all clear? Anybody can say yes to me? Yes, sir. Yeah. And if you go to the what? Uh, uh, here, what happens? It is not even coming over here. No? Fine. This is the biggest problem. It doesn't come here. No? But if you click on the navigator icon on the left hand side, here you can now see this. My contract management is coming. I don't know why it's not coming here. Why this heading is not coming here? I don't know. It is a lot. Some, some, somebody from the sandbox structure, oh, they may have removed. Yeah, yeah, might have been yeah, customized. Yeah, yeah. The sandbox customization people used yes, to. Be yes. Navigator, nobody can customize it. Everything. If you go to the contact management. In navigator, no. only. Perfect. So the contact yeah. management has been hidden by somebody. That's why it's not coming. If you click on the terms, I believe. He can only do the terms and conditions of a PC, actually. <clears throat> if you click on the terms and conditions. Terms library, whatever you can now do all these things. And if you click on this, no fine, click on this, no fine. You know, have the task list. If you click on it, not this yeah. one, no fine. In the top, if you go there, here, whatever mm. you can all these activities of this. Yeah. The terms, uh, he is a business practice director. I click on it. I will now sign out first of all, and then I will now sign with the PC admin now. PC admin and PC creator will not do. And then afterwards, we will now come to the business practice director. <clears throat> You know, go to the one, one and then do it. PCAB. Now he wants to create a contract actually. So to create a contract, he must be a resource. He must be a CRM resource actually. The resource. All these things are coming under CRM actually. The enterprise contract itself is under CRM. So he must be a CRM resource actually. 
to go there. If you go to what, I will not go to what, I will not go to the contract management, and then I will not open up the contract. Let me keep it on the star icon. So whenever I want to create, I can very well create it coolly. So click on the contract, and then I want to create a contract. So go there. So this screen, whatever I will know, click on the star icon, I will not add to the favorites. Go to the favorites, and then add to the favorites. Add to favorites. I will now say, what happens? It's a P contract, procurement contract. Right? Make a normal name, understandable name, not fine, click on second. Now you go there. So click on it. And then I'm now going to create a contract. Actually. So click on it. And then here, somebody has customized again. Everything has been customized, fine. Nothing is visible, actually. Refresh it. People do a lot of customization on this, not fine. Not click on it. Here we have a create contract. Yeah, no, fine. Okay, fine. Uh, create contract is not coming. So we have a create contract button. No, fine. Click on it. Click on the create contract. You are not going to create a contract actually. So this guy is only going to create a contract. Nothing else is going fine. It's okay. Create contract is there. Then click on it. You are not going to create a contract. So go there. So here, if you drop down, the BU is not our BU. It is a Supremo USBU. BU. The legal entity is not our BU. Our LE. It is a Supremo LE. No, the USB is coming fine. It's okay. Go there. Type. I will not write. More drop down. I will not say by lines. I'm going to do it now. Fine. The primary part is what? You go there. I will not put the primary part in. So click on it. I will not say it's the ADC consulting. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to use it. Mm -hmm. Nana, no, no, sir. Yeah. This type uh, that defines what we're going to create, the third option. Huh? The third option is type. Yeah, that is what you're going to do. That I mean, that drop down defines what we're gonna create. Yeah, yeah, we are going to see all those things now. Right? We will be seeing it soon. We'll be seeing the bylines, everything you're going to see soon. So number is a mandatory one. I will not put rather say hundred. And then if you click on the save and continue, it will not say poda ponga. Fine. And then uh, since it's the bylines, we need the master also. Item master is a must. Right? Whenever mm -hmm. you have lines or no lines or free form, master is a must. Operation is a master. Give it that. So the master org is a must. It will say poda ponga. You are not a resource at all. If you are mm. not a resource, you cannot create at all. You must be a contract resource. No, fine. See, are a resource. You cannot yeah. create a contract because you are not a you are not a resource actually. So you You're must find as, as a CRM resource actually. Okay. Only CRM resources can create a contract actually. They can get a buy contract, sell contract, a service contract. So first of all, we'll now make our user as a what CRM resource. So we'll now go there, click on it, click on the star icon. I will now make him as a resource. Thank you. Click on the button. Now, what happens in this place? We are even not able to see our BU at all. If you go on the create, nothing the create. Our BU is not visible at all. So we have to have our BU in this place. We have to have our BU. I click on cancel. And then our really and everything else. So click on it. So we'll now set up everything for him. Click on it. We'll now go to the setup and maintenance. And then here we are now going to make him as a resource. It's a CRM resource, remember. It is a CRM resource. A CRM resource can very well create a buy contract, sell contract, and then a service contract. So click on it. So click on search, no fine. I'm not going to make it as a resource. I'm not say manage fine resource. So go to the manage resource. And then query for the task. Manage resource task. Or yes, oh, you are yes, here. Yeah. And I'm not exactly remembering the spelling actually. Manage resources. Where are the managed resources? This is the one. You go to the managed resources now. Click on it. So when you are querying an employee, it is the last name comma first name actually. Whereas when you want to query a resource, it is the first name comma last name. If you go to the resource name, if you go on and query on EMP1 is the last name. If you go on and search one, it will not say cheapo. I will not give you at all. The results will not come. So we have to query on the first name actually. Right? So resources must be queried on the first name, whereas your employees must be queried on the last name first. So go to T01. If you go on and query, it will all come. In the resource screen, you have to query on the first name and not on the last name. Actually. So T01 underscore. <laughs> Click on search. Okay. So you cannot search because we are not made him as a resource. Yeah. In the plus, okay, I will not make a plus. Now I am not going to make him as a resource. Click on plus. In the plus, what happens if you go there? And then if you go to the person name and then search my EMP1. I am not going to create him as a resource. Click on search. It will not come. I click on search in the last name. The usage is what as an employee, right? as an employee, okay. and then make a search. In the we give a plus and then query the employee. It will not come at all. It will not come. So instead, what happens if you query on the T01 underscore and then click on search, it will come. 
So when you are creating a resource, when you query it, what happens? You have to query on the first name now. You know, coming. And again, repeat now. Fine. Now we are now creating a resource on the screen now. Fine. So when you are creating a resource, what happens? You click on plus and then query the employee on the first name and not on the last name. Actually. So click on plus. In the manage resource screen. Fine. We are now going to make a resource. So the employee has to be queried on the first name and not on the last name. So P01 underscore. And then query on the first name. And then it not show all the employees. The employee. So this employee is going to be made as a CRM resource, actually. You're not going to make it. So only first employee I'm going to make it. Second employee is only a business practice director who is going to make only the terms and conditions of a contract. He is not going to be a resource for us. He, this guy is going to be a resource. Fine. Select it. And then click on add as a resource. So click on add as a resource. So if you click on the add resource, there are so many options that are available here. The selected person should be enabled as a resource. Do you want to continue? Fine. Click on OK. So there are so many things are there. Set is coming, sales credit type is coming, organization is coming, role is coming, everything is coming. So here, what happens in the role, what happens, you make it as what? Enterprise contract. Enterprise, uh, once again, I forgot again. Procurement, yeah, enterprise manager, I think. Oh God, I forgot it actually. Contract administrator. Uh, contract administrator. You have to make yeah. it as what? Contract manager, actually. Not contract administrator. Yeah, manager. Contract manager, actually. So you have to make him as a contract manager. This is sufficient for a PC site. For a sales side and service side, mm -hmm. I don't know about it. What all things you have to make it? You're learning. Same, sir. Same, same, same. Uh -huh. Only contract manager is sufficient. Yeah, right? yeah, same. I have done service contract. Same books. Okay. Service contract. Fine. Ashish is uh, knowing the service contract also. So this is sufficient even mm -hmm. for service contract. Maybe same in for uh, 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 what happens here. But sell contract also. Yes. Service and sell. Mm -hmm. This is more than sufficient. Fine. Take on seven books. Now we are made it. Now the next step is what? We have to go and then make one internal resource organization actually. Now, what about the CanOC e is a resource actually. Thank you for know CanOC e is a CRM resource actually. T01 EMP1 is a CRM resource. We will now create an internal what happens a resource organization actually. And click on that now. We will now make one internal resource organization. So manage right? internal resource right? org percentage. You are now going to make one internal resource organization. Okay. We will now create one internal resource organization. <laughs> Click on, click on plus we have <clears> one <throat> internal resource organization. So go there, drop down. Drop. It's not a one, and not you have to create it now, and not the existing one. The second option, two, you have to choose now. Fine. We are going to create a new R. It is an internal CRM organization, not your inventory organization. Remember, it is an yeah. internal CRM organization. Hmm. So go there, click on click on Nexus. I click on Nexus. So we are now creating an internal CRM organization. Name I'm going to give it what T01. Fine. I will now say int underscore CRM underscore R. In reality, they will not give the name. Fine. Only for our understanding, you are doing. So good. So, you know. so now, what about the name has been given? I will know what about the organization usages. Fine. Click on plus. So, what are the usages you want to do? Fine. Drop it down. I will know what we can make it the contract organization, marketing organization, sales service. There are so many options that are available. So, whenever you are working on those modules, this internal CRM organization, you can even add multiples also. As of now, what happens? I'm now using it for your purchase. No, fine. It's a buy. Fine. Contracts organization and me. So depending upon the need, what happens? You can even add one internal CRM organization with so many usages, basically. Got it now, fine. Any doubts? So click on finish by which what happens? Our internal CRM organization is ready for contract, for procurement, for a PC actually. Click on finish. No, no. So our internal organization is ready. Now, what happens? Sir? We have to go to the resource directory and then what happens? Sir? Add our business unit. Right, click on. You can go there, query for the T01, find T01 and make a search. It will be available. Click on search. It will be available. Already. You will now find the T01 internal CRM organization for contracts usage, for a sales usage, marketing usage, service usage, everything can also be added actually. There's only one usage here. Anybody is there? And the left hand side, you give it, uh, uh, give it a click on this, now find the arrow mark, then it will come back one level. There is no done here now. There is no done here. Anywhere. Now what happens, we have to go to the resource directory. Fine, click on it. We have to go to the resource directory. If you go to the home icon, you will now find one resource directory coming up on the others now. Fine. You go to the drop. You know so in the, in the end, we will be having one others. In the others, what happens, we will have one resource directory. So here, what happens, we can add this icon actually. It is already there. Fine. Click on the plus and then add on the resource directory. Click on plus now. We are going to add it. Under the others, we are going to add it. Go down. Fine. In the others, we will now add it. Plus, give a plus, and then whatever you can very well add it. So, tools, configuration, others. 
in others what happens you'll have one resource directory put a tick mark on this node right the resource directory is enabled under the others actually got it now can anybody can say yes to me there's no added yes sir so click on it now go up and then click on save and close now it will be visible under others actually if it is still not visible, fine. It is not the result directly. Right? What you can do is you can go via navigator and see. Navigator mm -hmm. will always give everything. The navigator will also. So for the, if you go to the what happens, others, it will always be giving everything. So, so if it's not coming, via well, navigator you can very well do it. Now, because somebody might have customized it because of it, it might not be coming. So navigator icon, nobody can customize it. It will all be showing everything for you. So click on the resource directory. Now we are going to add our R to the resource directory. Click on the resource directory. We are going to add our R. Take on the resource, resource directory. So in the right hand side, click on the task list. Click on the task list. What happens there? We will know what happens. We go there. View organization, we are going to know. The resource organization, I'm going to view. Now. Click on the view organization. So we already have created an internal resource organization, internal CRM resource organization. I'm going to view it now. Click on it. So click on the view organization. I will now query my internal CRM organization. Find the T01. And then click on search. Fine, click on search. You now find the organization. We will know edit it now. Fine, brother. So the organization is coming. Fine, click on edit. And then we will now say which which business units will be working under it. Fine, click on plus. So click on plus. I will now put my views. So the resource is what? T01. Give a tab now. The resource now. Fine. We have made only one employee. Employee 2 is not a resource now. So mm. click on edit and then put this resource. And then here, what happens? They give a plus. The roles we are going to give a plus. Fine, click on plus. Drop it down. I will not say again what happens there. The contract manager. Contract manager is given. So the contract manager and what is it? Contract administrator. Contract manager, contract administrator, everything is there. Contract manager. So click on that. So now we have added what a resource member actually. The resource member has been added. Right? So the resource member, this employee who is a contract, is this employee as a CRM, he is also a CRM resource. And then here is a contract manager also. Yeah. And then I go to the business units, fine, go to the business unit. In the business unit, I will now say click on plus which which business unit you can access. So, you know, drop down, click on drop down. I will now say US1. <clears throat> US1. And then give it up. I will now choose this. You can even choose multiple views. Mm. So go there. So I don't know about the hierarchies and teams now. Fine. They are not used by the PC actually. Maybe my your, your cell contract and service contract may be using it. But PC will now use only the members and BU. Can somebody say yes to me? Yeah. This I don't know. Okay. Members. But teams means the multiple persons? Teams means what? I don't know. That is what I'm okay. <laughs> not showing me the member. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's our employee. This is correct. T01 MPO. Show me here. Click on it. It's not showing me. So click on okay now. Click on try. The members sir, no, then click on save and close and then come back and then sir, 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 sir. can you add a, one more business unit? You want to add one more business unit? Go to the uh -huh. business. I just want to see. Click on plus and then I will now add a UK business unit also. Yeah. UK business unit. And then he will be able to create a contact for both US and VU. Okay? Both the business unit. Yeah, he can create a contact for both actually. Hmm. And how to make one of them as a default, I don't know. Click on save. I want to make one of them as a default now, but I don't know that one. So click on it. There is make a search some profile right. option is there. Ah, yeah, yeah, option. yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. You can make ah. it. We are going to come to that. Next is the, the ah, yeah. Right. No, next is the, that profile. Right. Click on that. So yeah. click on it now fine. So we have got two BUs now fine. So it is coming automatically as a primary actually. Mm. How to make it this as a primary? Come on here. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, there is a profile option which can now make this as a default. Sir, there is one yes. tick mark, I guess. Next to that cross. No, but primary can be uh -huh, only this one, one yeah, I guess. Yeah. One second. If you put the stick mark, what happens? It is not coming as okay. Okay. Fine. No, anyone only can primary. Only one of them has can either one or the other one. Yeah, yeah. So that with the tick mark, what happens? You can, as long yeah. as you have, so the tick mark is not making it as a primary. So click on search and find what I click on it. So the tick mark is not making it as a primary. But apart from that, the next one is what we are going to set up the CRM profiles basically. Yeah, CRM so, profile. Now, the resource directory is complete with the members. Mm. On our contract organization, what happens? This is the resource name. His role is a contract manager, and then these are all the business units which he can access on this internal CRM R. Yeah. Cancel now. What about give it done? Come out of it. So we have now completed everything. Now we will now go to the CRM profile actually. So there is a CRM profile. So we are all written in a very haphazard manner now. 
I will not go to the manage common CRM business unit profile options. This is the one. So, Nana said this, uh, the org which we created, right? Contract org. Yeah. So, it's like it can be used for anything. I mean, what is, what is the... It is the, it has got a role only on CRM. It is not an inventory org. Mm -hmm. It has got nothing to do with the inventory or procurement or anything. Else. It is a CRM org. Okay. So, like under that internal org... Internal CRM can... org. Okay. It has got nothing to do with your procurement or inventory. You cannot do anything with that. Since I don't know CRM, fine. when you learn it, CRM has got multiple, it's again a product family actually. You have what happens, you have a retail, you have got a service, you have got the sales, and there are so many things that are there in the CRM. The enterprise contract itself will be coming under CRM only. When you learn this, what happens, you'll be doing it. I wanted to learn this enterprise contract management, Bobbery. It's covering a lot of financial business. I sat in the training for six sessions and then I came out of it. I'm unable to understand it all. Because it needs a lot of financial knowledge and so I, I couldn't learn it. I want Many people have asked me to what happens. I learned the enterprise contract and then I wanted to sit in the training, but I came out. I couldn't understand it. Very, very difficult. It's, it's, it's procurement, legal and uh, finance, right? All three people. Uh, everything are covered in the enterprise contract management. So I'm unable to understand it. Now I'll not go there. Click on it. You will not set up this profile actually. You'll not go there. You'll not go to this place. I will not go there. Go there. So click on that name now. And click on the name. And then go to the setup and maintenance. And then we'll not set up the profiles for it. Not close. Not close. Not close. Mm -hmm. And then go there now. So click on it. And then go to the search. And then you are now going to see set up the CRM profiles actually. Just manage common CRM business profile options. You're going to set it up. Check on it. Let us now set up these profiles actually. One is what? The default BU I'm going to set up. I will not go there. I will also say which is the default BU for the CRM actually. Check on it. The CRM profile actually. The CRM business unit profile options. And then go there. At the site level, it's not coming. I will not change it to what? Mine now. Can click on it. I'm going to change it to mine. Now, Supremo will not come at all because on our internal organization, it is not there at all. Supremo is not there on our internal org actually. Internal CRM org is not there. So this is not a default actually. And there if you give UK as a default, I don't know which will supersede actually. <laughs> that you make it to it. In our resource directory, if you make UK as a default profile, and then here is a different one. You see about how it's going to be here. That is a lab access one. Well, now I click on seven close. My default BU for the CRM business unit profile option is now set now. For default BU CRM actually. I click on seven close. Default is now set now. Fine. That will not default. So this the multiple is, also when it's doing. This is basically like a multi-org access control. You enable multi. It is basically in the e we have a multi-org access control. It is equal to that. It is normally yes. Actually. Yes, yes, yes. It is normally yes. Fine. You leave it as such. Hmm. Nothing to do. Fine. It is equal to multi-org access control. You use something on. So you can even very well work on multiple line of businesses. So now everything is set. Whatever we yeah. go there and then we will log out and log in. We are in a position to create what? Yeah. What's called yeah contract. contract. So whenever you make any major changes, have a habit of what signing out and signing. Out. Signing out and signing it. You can do it. So click on sign out. I can sign. So now you will now have only your own thing. You know, and nothing else will be coming. So click on confirm. So now before we create a contract, and before we create a contract, you go there. Fine. Click on sign in now. Now, when you create a contract, now your BUs and then your LEs only will come. Nothing else will come because we have now set up everything. So we are now created as a resource and then we are now created an internal CRM or and then we have done the resource directory also. So these three setups and then we have now done the setup of the profiles also, CRM profiles also. So these four things will now make you eligible for creating a contract. So these are the four things I will again repeat. Resource is the first setup. Next is what? Your internal CRM org is the second setup. And then the third setup is what? Your resource directory. The fourth one is what? Your CRM profiles. So once when you set up all the four, then what happens? You become eligible for creating a contract. Go to the contract management. And then you click on the contract. You can now very well create a contract. Actually. Click on the contract. And then click on the create contract. You can very well create a contract. Actually. We are in a position to create a contract. Actually. So click on the create contract. Now your BU and then your LE is only will come See, see, US one is coming and drop down. You will have UKBU also. UK is also coming. This is the default. Right? 
it is because of the profile is coming or because of my in the resource directory i have not made it the primary that's coming i don't know the legal id drop down is not coming okay now us one is the supreme is also there somewhere but okay. the type is what i'm going to make it as a byline right the okay, number has become mandatory actually now i want to make the number automatic actually i want to make the number as automatic number is going to be automatic so before making the number as automatic, what I will do is I will now set the document sequencing for this. I will set the document sequencing to cancel. I will now make the number automatic. Before I'm making the number automatic, man, go there. Right click on the duplicate. I will right click on the duplicate. Let me set up the what's called your <coughs> document numbering, document sequencing. Right click on it. We'll now set up the document sequencing. I'm going to set up and maintenance. And then we are now going to set up the document sequencing for this. Set up and maintenance and go there. <coughs> and then click on it. I will not click on search. I will not go to the manage document sequencing. Manage percentage name. Doc percentage name. Doc percentage. Right? And then sequence percentage. I will not go on the set up my document sequencing. Okay? And manage document sequences. And then this is for enterprise contract actually. I go there. Drop down the application. I will not say EN. If I write EN, it will be coming. Enterprise contract. So for the enterprise contract, make a search. Okay? There are three documents are there. Right? There are three documents are there. So one is what authoring document sequence. So this authoring document sequence, the determinant type is blank actually. That means what it can be for a BU or it can be for a ledger or whatever it may be. Now, if it is a blank, it is applicable for everything now. Authoring document sequence is for the enterprise contract actually right? or the procurement contract. Expand it. I will now say the starting number is going to be 1000. I'm going to give a value of 1000. So 1000 I have given for a blank determinant type. The determinant type is going to be blank for which what happens i know that i give a save and close so this is the one now fine the bottom what happens if you go there against the authoring documents you'll say authoring category name so here what happens the document sequence category name is authoring category name authoring category name and then for the authoring document sequence this is the category name right? it is automatic for a blank document type determinant type for a blank determinant type it is going to start on thousand so click on save and close now we are given the document. authoring document sequence means the contract number. Contract uh, contracting. Fine. Uh, PZ. We well, can save is a PZ actually. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. So now go there. We'll now go there. Click on create now. Before which what happens, we'll now go there. One more thing you have to do. Fine. Right click on the duplicate. I will now go to the what? The contract types. I will not go there. I will not go to the contract types. I will not go to the manage contract types. So click on it. I will not go to the setup and maintenance. And then I will not go to the manage contract types. So click on it. I will not go to the manage contract types. So click on search now. Fine. I will not go to the manage contract types. Manage percentage man. So in T percentage. T Y P E percentage. I will not go to the manage contract types. Manage contract types. I will not go to the by lines. And the by lines I'm going to edit now. I click on it. I'm not editing. So click on it. Let me edit it actually. So click on it and then I'm going to the contract type in which what happens, I'm going to edit it actually. Mm -hmm. oh God, it is not coming at all. Come, 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 come. No. Oh God, it is not made as what? As a Redwood shows, no, fine. Oh God. Redwood shows thing has come, no, fine. I will not go to the by lines, no, fine. There is an inquiry, no, fine. I will not say by lines. Contract type, oh God. No, 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 uh, yeah. Manage contract types only. Right? No, 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 that. In the one, no, fine. Manage contract type. The one. Buy and then make a query. Now, fine. Click on it. Sir, it is written contact. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. I made a mistake. Actually, it's very correct. It is not a contact. It is a contract type. Sorry. I had to go to not the contract type. Very correct. It is a manage contract types, not the contact type. Actually, <laughs> that has now come in Russia. No? Fine. This is a normal one. No? Fine. Go to the manage contract types. Once when the Redwood shows comes in, you will be having a very tough time to manage it. Actually. This is one normal one. No? <laughs> the Redwood, when the Redwood shows comes in, what happens? You have to get practice with that. No? Fine. No? So go to the manage lines and then click on it. Click on it. So by lines, I'm going to edit. No? Fine. Click on it. So here, what happens? I'm going to make the numbering automatic. Previously, what happened? The numbering is coming as manual. If you go there, click on the create now. So here, what happens if you go to the by lines and then do it now? And you go there. If you choose by lines, the numbering is coming as automatic actually. I want to make I mean, it coming as manual actually. I want to make it as automatic actually. The by lines, fine, go there. So this activity, fine, go there. So go to the place, fine, go there. Move on. What happens? The by lines is there, fine, go there. I don't know what happens. Contract numbering method, I'm going to make it as automatic. 
when I make it as automatic, what am I saying? Contract numbering level is what? Blank actually. So here that we have made it as a blank. For the blank, it is not going to start a moment. The contract sequence category is what? This is the one now, fine. What am I saying? Authoring category name. That is the sequence category, which is there on the top. Have you seen it? In the bottom, what happens? We have the sequence actually. Yeah. So for a blank with the authoring category name and then enable automatic line numbering. Now, 1000 will be the contract number actually. Hmm. Got it now fine. Now thousand will be the automatic. So for automatic with a blank and then authoring category name. Whatever. Here multiple things are there. This is mandatory. Ledger, everything is there. Fine. So it is a mandatory field. Oh god, it will not accept it or no? I don't know. I take one second close now. It's mandatory. So one second, one second. Oh god, you must select a contract numbering automatic. Hmm. So oh, there is some blank. Now fine. Click on there is no blank at all. I will not make it as a global now. Global. I will not make it as a global now. Fine. Global maybe a blank. You can't do global now. Click on seven close. Now, let us now go there and then what happens? Log out and log in and then do it. You will not see whether it creates a contract. I will not go to the create contract. So, it's a global one. I will go there. I will not choose the bylines. No. By I am going to choose it. The numbering will not come at all. See, numbering is not coming at all. Previously, numbering was coming as a mandatory field. I will not say ABC consulting. I will not go to the ABC consulting. I will go to tab now. <clears throat> and then when you give a save and close, the contract number must be 1000 now. Fine, click on save and continue. The contract number has to be 1000 actually. The contact number. I have not given a global there. <clears throat> uh, I have not given a global now. Sir, I think you missed out the item, Master. Oh, God. I think it's not there. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, let it, uh, inside also, we can provide. doesn't matter. We can even provide the item, Master, in inside also. Mm. So, go there. So, the thousand is coming. The global is accepted, actually. Now, what I will do is for a ledger, I will not say it's a 2000. Now. I will not go there. So, the 1000 contract number is coming. I can give a cancel. For a ledger, it will be 2000. If I click on it, I will not go to the manage document sequences and then query for it. I will not create one more line. If I click on search. So, oh, sorry. It should not be searched for everywhere. You have to go only for this. Drop it down with the enterprise contract. I will not go to the enterprise contract. Now. Go to the enterprise contract and make a search. I will not make one more entry for this. I will not make one more entry now. Click on it. Go on. So the blank one is a global one. Fine. Click on plus. I will not make it to the ledger level. I will not say what happens there. T01. Fine. Ledger. Fine. It's what's called PC now. Fine. Prop contract. So you can write your own name now. Fine. That. So application is what? Enterprise contract. Fine. ENT. Enterprise contract. Application. Module is also enterprise contract. EN. And then give it a tab now. Fine. Enterprise contract. It's not coming with the enterprise contract. Click on OK. So go there. So type is what? It is automatic. And then the determinant type is going to be ledger now. Fine. It's going to be a ledger actually. So the determinant type is ledger. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I will not go down now. Fine. Click on go down. In the bottom, what happens? I will not add that. It's the same thing now. Fine. Click on actions. Fine. So the ledger procurement contract is not coming because we are in this place now. Fine. So click on actions and then go to new now. Fine. Click on new. Is the authoring category authoring or the I forgot about something has come up and forgot it. Click on search name. Authoring authoring category name or something like that. A U T H O authoring authoring category name or something like that. Click on search name. Yeah, authoring category name is the one. OKC is the enterprise contract number. Method is what automatic. The ledger name is what US primary ledger. I'll not put it. So for this one, what happens? I will not have the document sequencing. If you expand it, what happens? I will not say it's the 2000. Expand it. Click on expand. So the date, the start date is not given. I will not say what happens. I will go there. So uh, 1 1 24 is the start date. I will not expand it. The start date is not given. I will not say 2000 is the start number. So expand it with the legit procurement contract. Down also start. One, one, 20. No, no, start date. Just start date. This end date. So start date is what? 1 1 24 the one. And then here, what happens? You expand it. And then here, I will not give it 2000 as a number. So for the global one, which is absent now, fine, that is now 2000 now in this place. The global one where the determinant type is missing, the global, that is 1000. And for a ledger specific one, it is 2000. Got it now, fine. Click on save and close. No, no. Now we will now modify ours now. Fine, go there. Click on such as now. I will not go to the manage contract types. I will not modify it. For every contract type, you can modify it. Fine, click on it. I will not modify it. Where is it? 
like that we can create for uh, multiple uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ledgers yeah, yeah yeah document sequence yeah yeah every ledger can have a definite okay magic ah, contact okay. each ledger can each be okay so just i'm okay. showing you how to do you know thank you connect okay just okay. connect you know i have no going to wait so here what happens i'm going to make only one change now initially what happens i know made is automatic and then what happens it go there so what are the changes i made for a global authoring method? category so yeah. contract method is automatic and then enabled automatic numbering also line numbering hmm. thing is enabled now what happens i go there i will not make it as a i'll go make it as a ledger so there is no ledger name is coming at all ledger name is not coming so but in the document sequencing for us private ledger we are given 2000 as a start number actually yeah so this is a ledger log now if i create a contract it will be 2000 and not 1000 actually got it now anybody can say yes to me we need to change the sequence category also na no? 2t01 where in the contract sequence category no 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 in this place you are saying no kind what is the manage document sequences no no sir on the manage contract types one second in this place manage contract types one second what happened now let's see it's got minimize no it's got minimize and open in new tab <laughs> manage document sequence that the contract now find over there is gone now. no no it's on another tab another window sorry it's on another window another window, google sorry. google chrome yeah this one Oh God! How come it has gone to other window? Nothing wrong. So where are you saying? Contracts, contract sequence category should be the same one only. Not any category name only. It should not be different at all. Okay. This is authoring category name is the only thing. The sequence so will automatically pick uh, that one which we have created yeah. on the basis of ledger. Yeah, yeah. Give us even closer. Authoring category name is the contract sequence category for both actually. Hmm. Okay. Both will come to the new now. Not so in this place, what happens if you go to the document sequences and then query for it? No fine. So the enterprise contract, if you go on and query, so click on search. No fine. If you go on and query, when you are querying that fine, enterprise contract, you go there. So here also, what happens if you go there? Is the authoring category name, and then if you choose this also, fine. This is also authoring category name only. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now if you go on and create it, the number will be two thousand. No, I click on the create. Okay. It will be two thousand. No, I click on create. Perfect. It will be two thousand. <clears throat> Fine, go there. So I will not go to the by lines. No fine by lines. The no numbering. Fine. I will not put the party as what ABC consulting. Give it up. So click on seven close. It will be two thousand because now is the ledger specific. The number is two thousand actually. Now I am going to do it at the BU level actually. I am not going to do overthink at the BU level actually. So click on. I will not do it at the BU level. Okay. So what I do is I will not go to the place. Let me delete this yeah, ledger level now and select it, and then let me delete it and select it, and then go there. So deletion is not possible. We are only ending it actually. So we go there. Let us now end it because I am not going to use the ledger level. I will now use it the BU level. Now. So I will now say uh, two iPhone two iPhone twenty four. That is the end date now. I now put end date and go there. So select it, and then here also I will now put end date two iPhone two iPhone twenty four. So go there. Click on it. Give us save and close now. Now that is ended now. So let us now create what happens. You are authoring at the BU level. So one is a global, and then one is what at the ledger. Ledger is gone now. Right? Now I will now create one at the BU level. Like interface contact. Let me go there. Not it. And then click on search. No, click on search. Let me create one at the BU level. So you can create at multiple levels. That is what the determinant type can be multiple. That is what I want to show. So click on plus. No, fine. I will now say. I will now say. What happens? I will now uh, enterprise. Fine. Contract BU level. Only for our understanding, we are writing it now, but in reality, you have to write it very properly. Right? And write very properly. Enterprise contract BU level can take over it. And then application is what enterprise contract. And then module is also enterprise contract. Mind EN and then give a tab now. And enterprise contract. Enterprise contract. So click on OK. I'm now making it the BU level. Right? Type is what automatic. The delivery type is business unit. Fine with that. I will now select it and then choose the business unit. This is the authoring category name. Fine, click on the new. I will now put the same authoring category name. A U T H O and then give a tap. Is the authoring category name fine? Don't drop down. Authoring category name is not coming. I want it. I'll make a search. Authoring category name is the one. Fine, select it. O K Z is the enterprise contract. So short name now. Fine, click on it. So method is going to be automatic. And then the business unit is what? Use one. Use one and give a tap. So I will now say start date one one twenty four. Then the top also we had to give a start date 
what e1 24 so give a save now we'll not see whether it is saving and then give a save so we'll not see now the contract is going to start on 10000 now first it has not got saved thank god so the enterprise contract bu level at the bu level we are given it the bottom also the bu is given and then expand it and then give a start name as what on 10000 so all my contracts will now start on 10000 actually and then normally you will not enable the audit also in my name. I don't know what for it is, but there is a cash size is also a very important one. One technical guy is told that some cash size uh, less than 50 or something like that will not work. So make it as a thousand, that's sufficient. So give a save. So my BU level contract numbering is now ready. What I now find? My BU level contract numbering is ready. Now, what happens? There are two more numberings there. One is what? The class sequence. If you look at the class sequence, they have already created on the BU level only. And the BU level, if you go there, the class level sequence, whatever they go on, is a class sequence category. There is the authoring contract name. There is the authoring, uh, authoring something, uh, authoring sequence name. Uh, so it is already there. So at the BU level, so I will not say expand it and then I will not put the start number as 20,000. 20,000. So my contract is starting on 10,000. My classes are starting on 20,000 now. And I give a save. And then there is no terms is there now. Fine. For terms, it is not there at all. We have a doc terms document sequence but it doesn't have any numbering at all and go that one so let us now create what happens it is not there in the bu level so let me create a new one for this one fine we go that thing on it the terms library document sequence fine go that is the terms library category so let me make a bu specific one now fine click on it will not make a bu specific one because it's not a bu specific we will not see whether the number is coming or not fine click on it. so here what was the terms library category is the one so click on plus <clears throat> i will not say what happens there p01 underscore terms and then at the bu level at the bu and terms bu right numbering term bu numbering so uh something you give it nothing and then drop it on and then make it as an enterprise contract now an enterprise contract i'm making it so the module is also enterprise contract give a tab now enterprise contract and then go there so it's going to be automatic and then here, application is what is a business unit level. So go there. Is the terms library? If I go there, the bottom what happens? They put the actions and go to the new now. Find the terms library something like that will be coming. So drop it down and then choose this. So click on search now. Find. Mm -hmm. I will now say the category is what E R M and then make a search. Click on search. The terms library now. What coming? L I B R E library. Find. Click on search now. Oh God, I go there. L I B. Then click on search now. Library finds. No, no. It is not library finds. Anybody remembering it now? T or M. So now make a search now. I am not remembering the name actually. You will put the exact one to be. It's a terms library category. Yes. It's a terms library category. I will not choose it. So it's a terms library category. Method is going to be automatic. And the business unit label is what? Use one. So go there, click on it. You have to have no we use one business unit. I will now give the start date for it. Now click on it. The start date is what one hyphen five one hyphen twenty four. And then the top also I'm going to give a start name in the terms library. What I'm using now click on it. Where is the person? The one now find that. So the start date I'm going to give it as what one 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 hyphen one hyphen twenty four. We given it now and give a save. Okay. So initially it was a global actually. Now we are given a BU specific numbering for the terms. Now we'll see whether it works or not. I'm not very sure about it. So I will now expand it and then I give a start number as 30,000. So 30,000 is a start number. And then enable the audit. Got it now, fine. It's all done now. So the terms library for the business unit is now starting on 30,000. Your con your class is now starting on 20,000. And then your contract is starting on 10,000. Can somebody say yes to me that you understood it? Yes, sir. Yes. Anybody else can say yes to me? Yes, right. Good. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then give us even close. So the numbering is now completed. So we are now completed the numbering. Got it now? Fine. Numbering is now completed. <clears throat> so the document sequencing numbering is now completed. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Click on it. Go to the space. Now go over there. Now what happens? The contract party rules. And then if you have he, he, docu sign enabled, then what happens if we had to add something here now? That is what one of my students told me. Fine, we had added. Now, these two things are ready-madely available on Vision, actually. 
and then in the field also whatever we see everything will be available hang on okay, go there take a copy of it manage contract party roles hang on so click on it we will go to the manage contract party roles and click on it and then click on search try and click on search and then we'll go to the manage contract party roles adiga t potriva it take alga manage contract party roles and click on it so here everything is ready made so here what am i we'll have one entry for the supplier one for the customer and then one for service entry so no need to create anything at all so they are all ready made lookups remember so no need to do it no lookup is required and then here what happens the lookup is the capital supplier the meaning is small supplier so here he says that everything is available in the field what happens if you are having a docu sign some more lookups has to be created when you are have integrating it with docu sign when you learn it whatever you will understand it so give a cancel it's not up and the ready to go right on and the next is what contract role sources no when manage contract role sources take up it no more the one manage contract role sources more the contract role sources can take on it so here also what happens everything is coming as ready made my student told me who is implemented this project he says that everything is coming ready made only but except for the docu sign if you go to the what your supplier contract if you go to the supplier contract you will not see which are all having the buy intent and then which are having a sell intent actually if you go there if you go down no fine if you go to the supplier contract no and customer contract is there and then uh, where is the supplier contract no supplier contract contact actually uh, there is a supplier contact no the supplier contract you know reduce it no you can reduce it in zero supplier contract contact supplier representative is there internal contract administrator so contract administrator there are so many things which are having a buy intent and sell intent now they are ready made actually it's in contract types sir i guess ha huh? or uh, it's in contract line types if i'm not wrong okay one second buy and sell contract. intent so uh, maybe contract type maybe enter time seen over the so maybe some of the buy intents and sell intents are coming automatically you leave it as a no need to touch it all yeah. i thought that supplier contract also will be coming as a entry it is not there actually ah sorry you have to keep your cursor on the supplier actually you keep your cursor on the supplier if you keep the supplier on the, now what happens your supplier contract will be coming right supplier contract contact supplier contract contact is coming so some of them are buy and then some of them are sell actually uh you keep your supplier and the supplier what happens some of them are buy intent and then some of the sell intent such so these things you don't need to modify at all the buy is only for us sell is not for us actually so keep your cursor on the supplier this yeah. comes ready made on the field also but if you have a docu sign you will have one more party role getting added to the documents the docu sign that is what you were saying that guy was saying that we had to add one more for the docu sign actually somebody please make an rnd and then if you know docu sign please tell us about what are all the things you had to add on the contract manage contract role sources actually right. uh, i have doubt here ha uh, yeah uh, sir in this that contact role contact administrator is there but uh, if we change it uh, uh, that by intent source from resource if we keep something else so we don't have to make that resource uh, setups and all this i don't know this one it is a supply contract is all coming up right? i don't know whether how to modify it other the ready made the the seeded ones are okay or not i am not very sure about it oh, okay but i was told by the man who has implemented this don't touch the screen at all it is only for viewing it only if you are you implementing uh, docu sign then what happens is one more party role has to be added for the docu sign and then that will also have contact roles also so for the different party roles you have got what happens is contact sources are available in them the supplier what happens the sources are coming for different ones actually so leave it as such don't touch anything at all right in the field also don't touch it if you have a docu sign then you have added so these two things nothing to be done on this no you have to do nothing on this no. now we will now create our line type such so we will go there and then we will now create our line type such so manage contract line type so go there manage contract this we have to create manage contract line type you are going to create go there come on manage contract line type i am going to create click on i am not going to create a line type so go there come on so click on plus i will not create what a line type so go there is what t01 i will not say by lines 
you may not be having anything also. It will be blank also. So create all your line types what you're going to use in the contract. So code also have more paste here. Source is what? I will not say there are so many sources are available here. Now what happens? I will not say item by it. So this is going to be item by it. And click on seven. So buy lines is available now. Click on seven. Now what happens? I'm not going to order a what's called an AMC contract. So for which what happens? I will not say click on plus one. So here, what happens? I will now use what free form. So free form buy is for uh, what happens? The description based purchases. Are. The buy is for a normal one. The free form is for description based purchases. And then when you want to go for an agreement, then what happens? Item buy agreement. Subscription, this is the one warranty. Agreement. So there are so many things that are available here. The subscription and warranty may not have lines at all. Only item buy and then the free form buy will be having item actually. In the free form buy, it is description based. Item buy is item based. So let me choose the free form buy. I will now say T01. I will now say free form. I will now make it. So naming convention is very, very important. You just discuss the end client and according to it. Paste. So we have now created two such things only for line items actually, not for non-line items. Right? Like a warranty. Like a subscription or a what's called an NDA, non disclosure agreement, and all that the lab exists for you because I don't know. They are all coming under some other module. So go there, click on save and close. So we have created two such things for line items actually. The free form is description based. This is item based actually. Claim on, it's not fine. So we have now created the line types. Click on that. It is now completed. Next is what? Manual contract. Next is what? Contract types. This is a very big one. The contract type is a big one. So here we have to create it exactly now. And the contract type is a big one. So, go there. so contract type, you have to concentrate a lot on doing. So manage contract types. So go to the manage contract types. So from here, what happens is we can create three types of documents for the fulfillment actually. Fine, click on plus. We can create three types of documents. Fine. One is what? A PO, one is a CPA, one is a BPA actually. Drop down the class and then if it is an enterprise contract, we can create only a PO now. If it is an agreement, we can create a CPA or a BPA actually. We will be seeing the agreement tomorrow actually. So today, we will not concentrate on the enterprise. Model. If it is an enterprise contract, we can create only a PO. With an agreement, what happens? We can create a CPA or a BPA. We will be seeing it tomorrow. For a grants and partner agreement, I don't know what exactly they are. They may be for your sale contract or a service contract actually. So this is a buy contract. Fine, go that click on it. So set is always a common set. Do not use any other set. No, fine. Common set. Common set is the one. Fine. So the name is what? T01. I will now say PO by. So allow lines is there. <clears throat> allow lines is what? We can allow the line as well as what happens. We can even have without lines also. A description based also is okay. Allow lines is there. So you can even have a description based by. Intent is what? By yourself. Fine. It's by. Sell will be taken care of by the sales contract by you. So click on continue. So we are given an appropriate naming for a purchase order. For an agreement, what happens? You'll use the agreement. Fine, that you'll be doing it tomorrow. So click on continue by which what happens is no complete number. Click on continue. Here we go. We are continuing it. And then going ahead and then we are creating the contract type is very, very important. Fine. It is not an easy one. A lot of things as well. So in this one, what happens? You go there. Take a copy of it and then put on the description. Code also I'm pasting it same. Code also I'm pasting it. Start it is that kind of In the buyer role, we are a buyer. What happens is the buyer role is a customer. We are buying it from supplier. So seller role, what happens is the supplier actually. Contract to owner's role, fine. Always give what happens the contract administrator. Everywhere. This is the highest power mom. If you give something else, what happens? They'll be having a lower power. Always give contract administrator. Buyer contract role, fine. Give a contract administrator. So go there. So here, yeah, what happens? You don't have any uh, internal contract administrator. There. Everywhere you give a contract administrator, that is having highest role. Fine, click on it. I will not go there. I will not go to the contract administrator. Click on it. And then the contract layout template. Fine, go there. So here, what happens? It's basically what it's a what's called a yeah uh, supplier contract actually. So this layout must be a supplier contract, not a customer contract or a sales agreement. Right? It's a supplier contract. So we are now doing a buy, and so it must be a supplier contract layout. Terms layout now, fine, go there. I will have a contract terms template. Use this one now. You have got multiple options, but doing it. Notify before expiration. When it is going to expire, what happens? Two days before you intimate it. Intimate to the contract administrator. 
these roles could be. Umzor is having the contract administration role. So for the contract role to be notified, what happens again? Contract administration. Whom to note? So it is going to be automatic. Automatic. So here, not at the ledger level, at the BU level. The sequencing category is what? Your authoring category name. No. Authoring category name is the one. So we have got multiple different options, but my students say that what happens is this is the best setup. That is what they say. And you can yes, even remember yes. that. Yeah, you're also saying, no, fine. Asish, yeah, 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 yeah. This combination is the best combination now. That's you do it, what happens is you'll be finding difficulty in doing it now. Clear on this, no, fine, on this side. On the left hand side, again, come, no, fine, go there. Enable automatic line numbering. Enable it. Requires signature, then what happens is you have a Oracle's e-signature is also available, and then DocuSign is also available. Yes. Both of them, I don't know. Uh, Asif, do you know author, author, Oracle's e-signatures on this? Document? Oracle, I don't know, sir. DocuSign, I have done. DocuSign. DocuSign, he has done. Yeah. So he has done DocuSign. So if you have any good documents, you can also uh, attach it on our uh, WhatsApp group. group. Yes, so, yes, yes. Will not try to what happens. There. But you need a license to simulate it also. Okay? Simulation is not. Uh, yeah, I tried for a one month free only. <laughs> Mm -hmm. or my project oh god so you need it no fine yeah we need a license need either a license. one span or a docusign anyone mm -hmm. but we can even do via oracle's e-signature also but i don't know how to do it actually okay i will try and update something with that. now having set up on the right hand side everything here i'm not enabling the signature and i will not go to the line types and then go to actions and what happens to go to add you're going to add it okay. i will not add both the lines no fine drop it down I will not say whatever is having lines only will come. No fine. Is that what By lines is now. And then click on plus. No fine. Whether click on plus. And then you know, do the preform also. Preform is also. So we enabled both things. So after having done this, what happens? It must be enabled on the right hand side, remember. So as and when you keep on doing it, what happens? Give us save. Give us save. So as and when you keep on doing it, give us save. T01 PO by is a contract type which you are making it now. Tomorrow, we are going to make a CPA and then BPA contract payments. Go down, my God. It must be enabled, actually. And then go to the additional party roles, nothing to be added. No, no additional party roles are required. Similarly, fulfillment notifications, nothing is required. And in the advanced authoring options, enable everything now. On the third tab region, what happens? Enable everything. That's what my student told me. Enable I terms authoring, enable risk management, enable related contracts, and then what happens? Allow this also. Enable everything on this now. In the advanced authoring options, enable everything. E-signatures, I don't know. This one, I don't know. Can somebody say you understood it? The contract type creation is a yes, very simple one. Am I making a mistake or am I correct, Asish? No, sir. Correct, correct, sir. It's correct. This is the only best thing. The service contract also we have done the same. Oh, very good. Only the terms layout was, uh, the contract layout was changed from supplier to custom. Uh, otherwise, uh -huh. everything was same. Okay. That is great, actually. Yeah. Any doubts from anybody? Somebody can say yes to me. Venkat, are you clear on this now? It's a very tough one, now. Nah? <laughs> it's actually very lengthy and laborious. Hmm. Uh, yeah. The setup. This again takes more. Yeah, Correct. Yeah. This again takes almost like six months. <laughs> <laughs> so click on save and close by which whatever my first contract type is ready it is not going to give output of PO so that is why I made it the PO but in reality what happens you have to give a real name actually you have to contact the contract what is the contract type name the end client will tell you if they don't sell you your company will now give you the naming convention very clearly so click on that. So we are now created our first contract type. Afterward, we will now create the other contract types tomorrow. For the CP and BPA, we will now create it tomorrow. Clear on this now, fine. We are now completed. Yeah. So we have to go to the next one now. Fine. So before which, what I was, it is now a break time now. We will now go there and then we will now have a break. How many of you are clear till now? Can you put a green tick now? In the bottom, in the reaction speed, can you put a green tick? Nishant is the given. Dharnam is also good. Fine. Asish is good. Fine. Excellent. Where Ravan is also very good. Yes, sir. Very good. Great, great, great. That's great. So I will now go for a tea break and then come back. I will now start the next session at 8.30 p.m. Indian. Okay. okay. I will now come back at 8.30 p.m. Indian. 
Okay.